or another country, I will come up and ask you, are you willing to die for that flag right there? Because I am. That one on your shoulder, if you're going to burn it, I will take a bullet for it. Are you willing to die right now this moment? Because I am. And I will take it from you and I will bring it to a place like this where we retire them with honor. Not a flag burning ceremony, but a flag retirement ceremony. I have ashes that have been passed down from a command sergeant major in the Army, 101st, to me while we were in Iraq that date back to 1870 when the Navy and Army started retiring flags in the late 1800s. There has been a lineage and leaders of our great fighting forces have passed down that heritage to us and it is our duty, our honor, that we should do the same. So what we have done is we have collected ashes. We have collected flags. I have some boots here that a soldier will not wear. This is a symbol as well of our fallen comrades. We've got a Christian flag. We've got Indiana flags. We've had flags from Rotarians, the American Legion, all different entities of people that wanted to honor and respect things that we do in our great nation and country. As I mentioned, the ashes, um, we have placed ashes from all the previous flag retirement ceremonies. For now, what's getting into will be centuries. So you are part of a time-honored tradition, and I want you to know and understand it. I've got some aluminum foil, and i got some ashes down there. Uh, I didn't bring enough. I was going to bring some little metal canisters, but we can get you some ashes if you so want to do another flag retirement ceremony somewhere and add that to that. You can do this. The Scouts have flag retirement ceremonies. BFWs, 40 and 8, American Legion, different groups will have, uh, and all the armed forces will have flag retirement ceremonies. So tonight we're part of that tradition. Um, I'd like to thank everyone from Cops Lakes here. Are you Facebook living? Awesome. No. So, hey, if you hear fish on, it'll probably be from that corner tonight. They've been slaying them over there. So hopefully you got a discount coupon. Okay, if you were here, if not, sucks to be you. Right? <laughs> but uh, I fish here quite a bit, and we just tied you up and said, you know, we should do this in front of your barn. People see you going up and down the highway. It's just fitting. It's just right. You've got uh, service members here within the family. Within the family. So uh, we're just uh, making sure that we're just trying to do everything right. In a moment, we're going to start with the large flag, but I'm going to explain to you how this is going. As any uh, good command sergeant major would do, I'm going to give you a risk assessment. There is a hill right behind you all. You could fall and trip. Please don't fall into the lake. Okay? Don't trip over that. We're going to bring you up here in just a minute. You have four burning barrels. What are in those barrels? Ashes and fire. Hot ashes. So uh, we don't want you to get burned. We're going to have people stationed in these four barrels to help and assist you as you're retiring the flags. There will be some fumes that will come off of these because there's nylon and cloth and age and who knows what on some of these. Do not stand over the fire and breathe it in because you could get some of the fumes, okay? If you do catch on fire, there are five-gallon buckets of water. There is a fire extinguisher, and if you look over there, you might get some, uh, they say drinking from a fire hose when you're busy. You might really drink from a fire hose. I don't know. Don't get caught on fire. Watch for trip hazards. There's little swales and things like that that you can fall on. Those of you that I will be handing scissors to or that brought your own scissors, because I had some dull ones a few years ago, and she used to never let me forget it. Thank you, Diane. Some of you will be asked to help. Now, what's going to happen? I said I need about this many people for that large flag. And I'm not certain whether this was the flag that got struck by lightning at a car lot. The whole big antenna got hit by lightning during a massive storm. There was hail, there was wind. So you will see some flags that have been absolutely destroyed. You will see some flags that will turn your stomach and you will say, how dare those people let this flag get into that state? It happens. You've had old people die, veterans die at a home and their family dust the place and they go to sell it and they forget that there's a flag on the pole. And, it's, and it gets tattered, torn, worn. When it gets to a point, when it is past its useful life and it is worn, then it needs to be retired. So you'll know 
when it gets faded or the ends get ripped because it was out into something, okay? There are some that I have, I have had people come and bring me a flag and say, I am so embarrassed, I am so ashamed. I'm like, you know what, now's the time when you give it over. It's just like some of us give it over to God, some of us just give it over, it's okay. Because now is the time, it will be our dishonor, it's okay. We're not gonna judge, okay? Um, in just a moment, we're gonna do a Pledge of Allegiance. In just a moment, we're gonna have our national anthem that we will all partake in. In just a moment, we will have tap played by Garrett of the Boy Scouts. And in just a moment, we're gonna retire that great big one. I will give you a block of instruction. Diane is gonna help lead um, the cutting. And we will cut it into four pieces. The Canton, if you look at the blue with the stars, that is called a Canton, if you didn't know that. So we will cut this big flag, the Canton out of it, and then the rest of the stripes will be cut into three equal pieces. And then one will go in each barrel. That's why I have four for the big one to start out with. After the big flag is retired with honors, we will start with the next flag. Some of you all brought some. Now, there are stories in these flags. Not just the big one that got struck by lightning during a storm that had heavy winds and hail. There was a young man that was playing by himself and with it soaking wet, I couldn't handle it. I know, and I'm a pretty big dude, but this little fellow tried to save that flag. Then finally others came to help rescue and so on and so forth. You may find flags that have been rained on like that, then folded up and may have mold on them. It's okay, we're here to honor and retire them. It's time, it's time. So don't get wrapped up in semantics or other stuff. Now is the time to honor. There are flags that I was, give, I was given. This was Papaw's that was on a coffin. Somebody had a great idea to fly it. That was the wrong answer. So we have two, cof or two flags here that had originally been coffin draped flags for two warriors. We'll see two of them. They're the standard coffin uh, cloth flags. Others are small. We got this from Papaw's now. It's so small. You know, so on and so forth. So um, you'll see those coming through. All right. This is the time when I shut up and this is done and we start making this happen. What I'm going to do is I'll explain to you how we're going to line up so that we're ready to receive the large flag so that we can have Garrett play tap when we've got the large flag out. And I'm gonna need all hands on deck. Um, and I'll walk around. Um, I'm gonna want you at the canton at one end on the side position. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I need a row of people right here and Don, I'm gonna move back. Give me like 15 people right here, right now. Let's go. Move, move, move. Let's go, soldiers. All right. 15 people right here. There you go, that group. Then another 15 right here facing them. Right here. There you go. Face me. Beautiful. Take two steps to your right. There you go. Come on. There you go. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There you go. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Facing them. Right next. Right in front. Two steps in front of them, uh, Ross. Two steps from in front of him. Line up with Russ, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. Uh, steady on uh, uh, Let's go. Uh, all right, we missed out. You all stay here. What's up? <laughs> Brother, we deployed to a few countries together. Nice to see you again. That's awesome. All right, uh, this group right here. You're going to be right here, facing that way. All right. That group right there, come here, firemen included. Okay, you're gonna be right here. Miss Hope Bridge, down here, sister. Well, we're gonna be this other. Come on, Mark Shirt. Where are you at?
this way. All right. First, first we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you would. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you would, please. We have Staff Sergeant Sawyer, deployed Army. I would like for her to lead us in the national anthem. And if you would, please, we're doing this a cappella, so guess what you're going to be doing? Singing with me. Back her up. <coughs> Ready? Now here's what's going to happen. This large flag that we will retire first. I got a devil dog right here at the end. You're going to help me unfurl this. As I come your way with the stars, you're going to grab hold of it and I need all hands on it. Grab it and do not let it touch the ground. And we are just going to unfold this the best that we possibly can. Grab hold. Help me out. Get your hands on it if I'm if I'm near you. You just grab it. Help me out. Get your hands on there. Those, I need a line at the end because when we take it apart, we're going to need a row at that end. <laughs> oh, guess what we're going to do? We're going to turn. Tip, you come to me on that side. We're going there. I want the stars on the other end. All right, help us out. Help us out. Get your hands on it. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, just uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Don't undo it yet. Uh, fold it back up. Just let us unfurl it. We're going to pull it this way. Pull it. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Just like that. Sorry, do I need to slow down? All right. Okay. All right, here's what's going to happen. Let it keep coming this way, and then whoever it passes, you're going to be that in line that I needed. God has a way of working this out. Now, right there. Who? Oh. Now, hold it still just like this for a moment. I want to get a good shot. Um, and, Diane, you're going to be about right there, in between, right next to your husband. Oh, you do, don't you? Three, two, one. Thank you all so much. All right. At this time, before we take this out, 
There are many here who have served and defended the right of freedom, as well as the freedom of religion and expression and everything else. Since I'm running this ceremony, I get to pray. I'm going to pray as I do. You pray as you do or don't pray. Whatever you want to do. It's your God-given, I'm sorry, it's your United States right. Because others have raised their hand and said they'll die for your right to do whatever you want to do today. But as for me, if we could, I'm going to take it to the Lord. You meditate or do what you want to do for a moment. Whoa. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just praise you for this awesome day that we can retire these flags with honor. Let it give us a patriotic punch to our heart and let us continue to love and love and love. Amen. 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 All right, at this time, this end right here, you are going to come up and as you grab hold, we're going to figure this out together, shoulder to shoulder, and you're going to grab the end of this flag and figure it out. And you're going to extend this way, and you're going to extend this way. You all are going to flip this over, not too fast. Do not let it hit the ground. Hey, little kids, you, 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 you're going to run underneath this and make sure it don't touch the ground. Fair? And you pull your hands up and don't let it hit the ground. You have fun with it. You're gonna, ready? <laughs> Go! Go under there. Go under there. <laughs> this is the one that got struck by lightning. This is the one in the hailstorm. This is the one that they said we can't give it to you. I said it has to be retired. We will figure this out. No, he's no, no, no. We're gonna do taps, and I need to get some other scissors first. Okay. Hey, Pentecost, guess what you're doing right here, you? All right. Here's what's gonna happen, man. Do you know how to use scissors? Not yet. He's gonna be playing taps first. Okay. What's gonna happen? Is you're right there. time-honored traditions of honoring our fallen comrades with a tune called Tap. If you would please give a moment of respect and think about those who we have lost. as well as these sides. Now what's going to have to happen here? We're going to have to have people come in in a final minute. What are you doing up there? Come up here, young man. We need all hands on deck. Because what's going to happen, 
and the Diane cuts this way. And it Gus cuts that way. Sergeant, tell us your name. Russell. Russell. And as Angela Pentecost cuts this way. We're gonna need some people to fill in and to hold that four or that fourth, this fourth, this fourth, and this fourth. Once we have those fourths cut, we'll take the canton over here to the far end, and then we'll just fill in at each one of the barrels, if you would, please. So just walk together and you'll take it, and then we'll, we will retire this with honor. Diane, if you would, just kind of guide and lead everyone and watch everybody as they go to their beginning and start. Uh, give everyone a head start there, Sergeant uh, Russell. There you go. All right. Thank you. And just fill in. I need you all to come up here and help. So somebody needs to stand behind me. Grab, grab these sides. Make sure that it doesn't on each side, okay? Make sure it doesn't touch the ground. Okay, at this time, if you would, please retire these flags, or this flag with honors. Okay, kind of swing around, go that way, so then we can go to this end, this end in first, right here, come this way. Now, just kind of... Maybe, there's a shovel, grab it, just in case, don't get it into the... Oh, there you go. Now, feed it, we're just going to kind of feed it in, okay? If it gets too burny... If we can get it in without the shovels, that'd be great. Debbie, just for photo op opportunity, that'd be great if they can. There you go. Guide it in. It's going to go fast. Keep on going. Good job. Yes, we will get warm and that fire will jump up on you. Oh, careful. There you go. Teamwork, teamwork. And I apologize because no. I said this. You all stand up there. This one had been taken through a severe storm, a lightning strike, hail and wind damage. Gotcha. And it was vicious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was one of those that took a crane to repair it. The people wanted it done with honor. So I can share with them tonight that we have done the right thing. While these are retiring, I want you to think about things. Think about our freedoms think about your family members who have served or are serving how many people have some sort of military in their family tree and background wow 